and to take the barakah of reminding the self and giving uh, an advice to the self always speaking always to ourself and if anybody benefits alhamdulillah that our concept of mouth our concept of death is different than what the western world believes and when we live in the western world it's very easy to be lost in a different understanding the islamic concept of mouth is a transition it's not a finale we don't have the concept of something ending shaitan comes into people's lives and tries to convince them you came from nowhere you're going nowhere and this is like a play in which there is a finale and the reality of maut the reality of passing is a reality of transition that Allah describes that we bring life out of death and we bring death out of life it's two sides of the same coin hayya min mayt wa mayt min hayy means that from a state of something being in a transition of not reaching its reality Allah from that which looks dead to you can bring life and from somebody who thinks they're living can bring the state of death means it's merely a transition for us when we know that we come from a reality this is a temporary existence and there is a transition to take place for us to reach the reality in which Allah wounds for us and amazing reality within nature because Allah describes I'll show you these realities upon the horizon and within yourself very difficult for the people who don't make tafakkur and contemplation to see the reality within themselves Allah's rahmah is look upon the horizon look out all around you and you see that reality and tonight we're breaking with dates and you have to hold the seed you go home you wash the date seed avocado seed is even better it's like a baseball you can <laughs> you hold that seed wash it nice and clean put it in your pocket and then keep taking this seed out and you subhanallah the Ya Rabbi how from this like a rock how from this rock you're going to bring life and Allah says from that state of death I'm going to bring hayat and it's so hard where, where is the, the, the shaykh, where is the little tree hidden in that? If you cut it, you won't find it, it's nothing there. But Allah wants us to know the greater reality because nature submits, we don't. So we see all of the signs in nature, how the animals they eat with their head down to be humble how we see all of nature constantly being rejuvenated dying and coming to life dying and coming to life every season we, f we see death all around and as soon as spring comes we see life coming back the same tree that looked dead but now when we're breaking we see the seed you carry the seed with you and we begin to understand that 99% of humanity is in a state of the seed and they're very happy with being a seed and they think that they came into this world to be a seed they bear no fruit and they became no tree they didn't reach the reality in which Allah wanted for them so it means pious people they come into our lives and teaching us that why do you want to be a seed it's just hard there's nothing in it there's nothing about it why aren't you reaching your reality so it means the holy month of Ramadan 
is a time in which Allah meant for us. You know it's like you're going 100 miles an hour, as soon as somebody says you can't eat and drink, the brakes come on really fast or <laughs> you can't do anything and you begin to realize you live for eating. You plan on, oh, I'm going to go all the way out here, I'm going to have lunch and then from there I'm going to go all the way out there, I'm going to have dinner. And all your excitement is based on eating, all your movement is what you're going to have for lunch and dinner and breakfast and we live to eat, we're not eating to live. So Ramadan comes, tafakkur and contemplation and meditation is the month of Ramadan where Allah knows, I'm going to pull your battery, I'm going to pull your energy, sit and contemplate. And only Allah come into our lives and people come into our lives and they say that carry that seed with you and realize what you're doing is not what Allah wanted for us. Being a seed is not a, an accomplishment, it's just something hard and that's why we are hard now in humanity. People kill each other for the price of a, a one bullet, twenty cents. They don't care, they don't even think about it. And this was the greatness in which God created us? This was the fruits in which God wanted for us? No. But because we walk around with this seed and we think that this is it, this is it, this is it, until somebody comes and says, no, no, excuse me, you're supposed to take that and plant it. Means everything Allah shows, it exists within us. So you take that seed and you put it into the dirt and you come and you water the dirt, means there's a state of the dirt and the reality of dirt on the what the dirt can carry. Because as soon as the water comes onto the dirt, the water represents the angelic reality because angels created from water, they became a light but their reality it's from mine. Well, Allah just says, My throne is upon the water. My mim alif. This is a Muhammadan reality. There's nothing between the mim and the alif. And Allah described, My throne upon that water means the angelic reality is born from water. That's why if you leave water in a cup for a few days, it begins to grow algae. It has the power of life, water has the power of life. You leave it, something green begins to grow, everybody gets grossed out and throws it away. But that's a big ishara, that's a big sign for us that from that water there's something being created. So then that's the angelic reality, the dirt is the stable reality. Means when that water comes onto the dirt and the seed has isolated itself, it has cut itself off from all creation. Now Allah's miracle can begin. As long as the seed is visible to you, it's a seed. Nobody has been able to hold the seed in their hand and a, a tree to grow. It has to isolate itself has to hide itself, has to be something non-existent. As long as the seed wants to be known as a seed, nothing happens. You just, you keep it in your hand for a whole lifetime and thousand lifetimes it will be nothing. So Allah teaching us the reality of itikaf and higher than itikaf is khalwa. Itikaf means that the seed has to make an itikaf. The seed has to cut itself off from everything if it wants to reach what Allah wanted for it. The seed when it cuts itself off, it's planted within the dirt, the dirt hides everything. Now the seed is alone with Allah It's on the way of knowing itself. As soon as it takes a path of knowing itself that you must have created me for something more than being hard. Then they begin to water that seed and the miracle that Allah begins to grant to that hard seed is a tree grows, a stem comes through the dirt and moves for the sunlight 
and more water is applied and that seed becomes a tree. And if you look into the dirt there's no more seed. If you search through the dirt the seed has died. It, it left that reality but the, it teaching us it's not the death that the West is talking about but it's the death of Islam, the understanding of Islam that Prophet brought for us. That that seed reached its transition. That Allah promised from that which looks dead, He's going to bring life. He's going to bring the hayat out of that dead. And it became a tree and you water the tree, now it has the ability to grow fruit and thousands of fruit. And each fruit has a seed to make thousand more trees. This is ilm al -laduni. this is the way of realities. Allah is showing, look, look, look what I've done in nature. They said, most beautiful one is a pomegranate. From the one seed of a pomegranate, if it planted and it's watered and it's nourished, it bring you a hundred fruits and each fruit a hundred seeds within it. If you plant them they become hundreds of trees with hundreds of fruits and Allah begins to describe and show eternity. Because as much as you water that tree it keeps bearing fruits for you and you keep planting the fruit you could have an orchard filled with thousand trees. And Allah says, that's da'im, that my ni'mat and my rahmat upon you will be eternal. But if you leave being a seed, so Prophet wanted the whole of the ummah to experience what the ahl haqqaiq already knew. The people of realities, their job is to go around and teach people that which you're proud of. And that which you only focus from your form, you know they focus only on the form and their life is a form and they're teaching that form of yours is only a seed. Because Islam without Iman is not completion. If you just keep your form and you're proud of your form and your actions are only for your form but you yet didn't reach Iman and Maqamul Ihsan means you're walking with a seed and that seed has to be planted. If it be planted correctly means who knows himself will know his Lord. So what Allah gave us of dirt? Qalaq al insana min teen. The body is the teen, is the purified soil. Your body is the purified soil. So Allah says, your reality is not going to come Unless you go deep into your soil, plant yourself means keep your focus not outside but inside. Plant yourself into your reality, isolate yourself from humanity. What they call you, what they know of you, what, what they expect of you is giving you an existence. When you take the path of isolation and you begin to train on how to cut yourself from everything, you do your work, you do all that you have to do but you take time when you come home to isolate yourself, to make your tafakkur in your contemplation and the real tawbah that, Ya Rabbi you, you wanted something from me and I'm just a seed. And you know what you do with the seed is you, when you get angry you can throw it at somebody because that's all it's good for, it just hurts people. There's no fruit coming from it until it's planted. And once it's planted and we go into our isolation, the reality of itikaf of the last 10 days was exactly that. Isolate yourself, figure out what is this that you wanted from me Ya Rabbi, let me plant myself that the teen, the dirt that you gave me is my body. The water that flows through me is the angelic reality and the fire that exists within me I have a choice of making this a himma, a fire and a zeal to do good for Allah or I can give it to shaitan and the fire within me becomes shaitani. 
means we have the ability, this is the great mizan, they say the, the great scale of God is the creation of Adam. That your body is the soil, the greatness of your creation is your body is a soil and it has the ability to take my angelic lights, the water and a reality will grow from you. Within your body you also have the reality of the jinn and the fire because each one was a separate reality. The angels are from water, they're consistent and constant. There's no darajat for them, they don't have a choice to do something bad. So stable, the jinn are of a fiery nature and they tend to lean themselves towards a fiery reality. The great mizan and the great scale is the creation of Adam because he has the purified teen, the soil. That soil like a scale, it takes the angelic reality of water so that something can grow, your reality can grow. And it takes the fire of these jinn and make it to be a himma. That's why they control qadab. If they don't control anger and qadab, they will be overtaken by fire and they become shaitani, they become the vehicle for shaitan. This is the scale. Our way of turuqs is to teach us how to balance that scale, plant yourself, spend time trying to understand and know yourself that what did God create me for? There must be something great. And as soon as I plant myself and isolate myself, that self should begin to die. And that's why pious people when they look, that person from whom their mother brought into this world exists no more. Like the seed it vanished, its reality is appearing. The reality of, of the soul of pious people is appearing because they are like trees. They are like the pillars of this earth and they bear a fruit in which thousands can eat. And each fruit that you eat will bring you towards your reality and dress you from your reality. And that is the reality of mount. Mount is merely a transition and we came into this life to reach towards that transition. There's no ending, there's no show that's going to come over. And Allah out of infinite rahmah everyone is going to reach that reality and this is the reality of the qabr. Means those that don't want to make itikaf, they don't want to find themselves, they insist on being a seed, well everybody is going into the qabr and every qabr fits one person. Means if your mama is good, that's her qabr, it's not going to be your qabr. If your baba is good, that's his qabr, that's not your qabr. You don't get on anybody's credit, everyone's grave fits only them. And that's when Allah says, now you're finished with your running, let's make you into a tree. But at that time much more difficult, there's no break and you gotta be what Allah wants you to be and very difficult to do that in the grave. When Allah is giving us this rahmah, giving us this life to reach our reality. It's a different reality from the grave, means if you plant yourself, isolate yourself, water yourself with your reality and your angelic reality, how do you bring out the angelic reality? It's by praising upon God. So when you're saying, why I have to come and praise, why I have to come and praise, what do you think going to open your angelic reality? The grocery store? Going here and there and, and doing? No. What going to activate the water within the body, what going to activate the angelic reality of the body? Zikrullah, zikrullah tatma'ina quloob. The praising upon Prophet and the praising upon prophetic reality means the reality of these sounds activate the water, means then begins to energize and begins the activation of that seed where they plant themselves within that reality and something new will be born. And that which comes out new bears many fruits and everybody who eats from that fruit it has a seed within it to be planted. And that's the reality of the students, they're taking and eating from those fruits means they're learning how to plant themselves. And they go wherever they are in the world and they begin to isolate themselves and plant themselves. As soon as they isolate and make their tafakkur 
then they begin to water from these realities. Allah's rahmah is that this water is waiting. Zikrullah is waiting, Salawat on Prophet waiting, only Allah from Barzakh are waiting. But you can't water a seed that's in your hand and running around. You throw some water and it drips everywhere. That's why they teach that if you want to reach to these realities, if we want to reach to these realities, take the way of isolation. Take the way of getting to know ourselves, isolating, cutting from creation, all of what creation calls me, all of what creation gives me of a title, what they expect from me, cut that. It means nothing in the grave. If you don't know yourself, there's no way to say that you know your Lord. And that's what Prophet teaching, that's why we put out these hadiths in a different way of understanding Prophet was teaching. Who knows himself will know his Lord. The true is that if you don't know yourself, there is no way to claim that you know your Lord. Means your seed trying to claim your tree. So they teach us this is the reality from Ramadan, why the last 10 days of Ramadan and the reality of itikaf is slow everything down. Try to figure in your life what is it that you're meant for. You have to be meant for something much greater than just eating and going to the bathroom. Means there must be a reality that Allah wants to come out. It requires us to plant that seed, water it with zikrullah and that that tree to be born. And this is from the realities of Ramadan inshaAllah. We pray that Allah open for us from those realities, that Prophet open for us from these lights and that only Allah inspire and grant a himma within our being to begin to control all the bad characteristics. You begin to cut all of these characteristics so that that seed can grow towards its reality. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. We described last night and not everybody was here but just a quick reminder that when Allah describing Laylatul Qadr, <coughs> Laylatul Qadr is Allah describes it's like a thousand months. Thousand months means days are 30,000, means their one day, the salams all the way to fajr is like a thousand months. One of the understandings in the formula of Allah is what Allah gives He never takes away. If He gives you the dress of Laylat Qadr, He doesn't come to the next year and say, no, no, you're, I'm not giving it anymore to you. It's not like a human beings. When Allah give you the dress of the night of power means for the rest of your life every day will be a dress of Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr, Allah now gives the formula for people who don't believe in what barakah is, is that this Abdul Qadr who been dressed by Laylatul Qadr, their day is like 30,000 of yours. Because 1,000 months, 30 days in a month, your multiplier is 30,000. So one day of them, you have to do 30,000 days to equal it. So when people ask you, why barakah, why the shaykh, why this? Well, Allah is giving you in Qur'an that their one day is like 30,000 of your days. So it means that they make one salah you have to make 150,000 salahs to equal their one salah. It's Allah because 30,000 times the 1,000 months, Allah is saying, this is 30,000 I've given them as a multiplier. They make one salah, you have to do 30,000 of those salahs to equal it. If you give one dollar to them, is the reward of $30,000. You have to spend $30,000 somewhere else to equal one dollar with them. If they make one Allah, you have to make 30,000 Allahs to equal their one Allah. And the people who are with them be dressed by what Allah dressing them. That's why they are like sons means they're emanating a light and they don't make a distinction whom Allah sends onto their beach, they be dressed and their souls be dressed. Allah even gives a darajat within their ranks that not only 30,000 but I have some that one day is like 50,000 of your years. 
What kind of wali is that? That his one day, because the malaika and the ruh are constantly coming to them with Allah's amr, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. Means every angelic reality dresses their soul from Bahru Qudra. The angels are coming into that Bahru Qudra dressing that ocean. The reality of the ruh coming into that ocean dressing that ocean means Allah describing that those souls are dipped and swimming into that ocean of power. Whether their day is multiplied by 30,000 or whether their day is 50,000 of your years. These are all the darajats and the realities of Laylatul Qadr. The people who have been dressed by Laylatul Qadr, it is now an eternal and noble gift from Allah that your soul is swimming in that ocean. Everything you do dressed by that ocean. That's why if you eat with them one bite, means think, think everything we've been taught. That if you eat the food of a generous person, each bite has 300 malaika. And that, those malaika are a shifa and healing. But if that person is from Abdul Qadr, from the servants of the ocean of power, that's 30,000 times 300. What was the, the number? Nine million. Nine million angels for every luqma and bite that you eat in their presence. And that's why the students have barakah. That's why their lives have barakah. That's why many of their mushkalats and difficulties and sicknesses have been taken away. Many of their openings and rizqs have been granted to them. Because Allah giving the formula that these numbers are significantly multiplied. Prophet even makes the deal sweeter. That these people of Qadr, they're also the people of tafakkur. One hour, Prophet describes, one hour of their tafakkur is 70 of your years of worship, one hour. 24 hours in a day, Prophet now teaching that 1700 years for every one day of their ibadah. Means you have to live 1700 years to equal one day of their worshipness because their entire day is worship. Whether they're sleeping, praying or eating, Allah accepted that everything they do is an ibadah. So 1700 years for one of their days. Means if they make salat, if they make salawat, Allahumma salli ala Sayyid Muhammad ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad you have to make that one salawat 1700 years to equal this Abdul Qadr, the servants that Allah dressed from the oceans of power. We pray that Allah grant us to reach towards the oceans of power, to take the seed to become the tree and the tree to bear fruits and to be of service to Sayyidina Muhammad service to Allah and under the feet of awliyaullah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisiri Surat al-Fatiha.